hello friends how are you everybody is fine so i am going to uh, uh, introduce you with the bursaski uh, language so bursaski is uh, not uh, called a language only uh, because it is larger than a language so uh, we have to i would like to introduce you uh, with the basic parts parts of the uh, bursaski language so you don't have to remember these um, and of course uh, many of the friends they criticize uh, on our videos uh, sometimes not many of them but few of them uh, they themselves don't work for the language uh, but if we work uh, in some way uh, then they start criticizing us and say some ugly uh, things uh, anyway um it's your right to criticize so what i'm saying is uh, 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 there are about um, eight nine ten parts of the bursaski language uh, can be divided in different parts okay so first of all there is uh, yakiching uh, you do you don't have to write this uh, maybe i will uh, make another video video later on uh, so maybe I will make another video uh, to make it simple and make you understand um, and make you learn the um, uh, Bursaski language. This video is not uh, purposed uh, to learn the Bursaski language but it is just to introduce you, just to give you an idea about the grammar uh, in Bursaski. It is not called grammar, it is called Shaski. Shaski means a style. Uh, this is a style of communication, a style of living, a style of existence, okay? So, buru shaski means the style of buru, a way, a path of the buru. So, um, here uh, we have uh, some parts. First of all, yekiching. Yekiching means uh, names. In any language, you should have a name, a word, to call something like um, you call an animal uh, or a thing or a, a place or a person uh, or an idea you call a name for an idea so uh, the the place uh, is called uh, danze or emet or jaga it's called emet uh, and the person uh, people are called ses that is a name for the people ses uh, and uh, the time is called Ken. That is the name of the time. It is Ken. So the the idea idea is called Dunesh. Uh, idea like a a, um, a, a greedy person or, or an invest uh, invest idea is called Murihi. Murihi means in way like jealousy. Murihi. That is a name. Those are names. Second, there are, this was, Yekiching was the first, you can call it a name or a noun. Okay, second is, Yek, Yek is one singular and Yekiching is many, plural. If you make it plural, you add ing in Bursaski, most of the places, ing, Yek is singular, Yekiching is plural. So, uh, now, uh, the second part is, about uh, hyaning it is called hyaning hyaning means to point somebody or to direct somebody uh, or uh, to hint uh, something like uh, you say me me you he she it like the pronouns in english they are called hyaning like ja ja is me i ja M me is we me means we me is burshaski not the english me burshaski me meaning we so ja me you means un un means you you is un you in plural is ma you singular one person you if you are one person singular person i call you un if you are many people, I call you ma. So, ja, mi, un, ma, ne. 
ne means he mo mo means she we we means they after that there are some hyaning uh, for uh, the non living beings uh, they are very interesting they they don't exist uh, in other languages uh, like uh, say say means for a solid it in english you call it it you call it it is it's it's water or it is a glass or it is a cat or it is a jug or whatever that it is uh, only one thing for all of them but in burshaski you have say means a solid solid for that that solid is say if it is uh, like soft or foldable or thin uh, matters they are called ke ke uh, uh, one is te and if there are many they are called ke plural is ke so se is singular for a solid it and se plural for solid uh, plural if there are many uh, there is a collection there then they call se se is for singular se is for plural then there is te te means like water for you you called uh, for a stone you call se se dan means that stone uh, and guse dan means this stone and if you call the water it is uh, soft like it's um, flowing uh, its nature it depends on its f- physics so uh, it you call it te you don't call it se te chel chel means water te chel gute chel te chel that water gute chel this water and if they you want to make it plural like chelling uh, waters uh, waters means uh, maybe uh, it is not mm, possible or it does it seems absurd but uh, sometimes there are waters at different places here is a water collection here is on the road there is a water uh, like this so waters if uh, by by chance if you make the plural you want to make plural uh, for waters in that case you will call it k k chelling ing ing for making it plural Uh, the the noun you you will make the yek plural by adding ing ke ke chelling te chel that water ke chelling those waters okay then se dan that stone se dan jo those stones dan jo now you will make it plural by adding jo dan jo so after uh, we have talked about uh, yek ching we have talked about hyaning and uh, now we will talk about mayum mayum means to become or to exist like uh, like existence mayum uh, uh, something is becoming or something is happening that is called mayum like uh, like water exists so you call it chel uh, dua uh, you call it dua so the mayum here is dua but for the stone you will call dan b the the uh, dan b means uh, the stone is present or the, the stone exist or the stone is there so you will call it dan b like in english uh, you you say is am are were uh, have had all these helping words helping verbs you call mayum Uh, mayum the mayum is in uh, burshaski different for water you call it dua water or a cloth or a paper or house uh, anything that is uh, like um, empty from inside or it is soft or it is foldable or it is thin uh, uh, like the air air is dua but solid things you will call them b bn if uh, singular is b uh, solid singular is b 
solid plural is bien. Uh, similarly, uh, the, the liquid type uh, or the soft types are dua and dua is singular and if uh, more there are they are plural they are are more in large in numbers then you call them bicha so se dan bi that stone is means that stone is present and te sel dua that water is present our water is there okay and se dan jo bien those stones are there are those are stones you can also say danjobian those are stones and ke selling bicha those are waters selling bicha now uh, the endings the helping verb becomes bicha if one dua if more bicha so after that there is uh, we talked about yekiching hayaning and mayum now we talk about uh, doro Doro means what you do, the work in Bursaski, like uh, uh, to go, to come, to eat, uh, to drink, to sleep, uh, to dance, or to contribute, or to dream, or to fly, whatever. So you call them, there are different um, uh, uncountable number of uh, uh, verbs are there, there are uh, many works, so like echum, to do, uh, shitum to eat gusachum uh, to walk duachum to fly goyayum uh, to to sleep miniachum uh, to swim uh, mm, what else uh, meme to drink uh, and uh, seem to read girminchum to write uh, eskarakim to decorate, wash um, to something to paint or whatever you call it, uh, you you paint uh, with the mud, uh, you you cover it the wall with the mud, so that is called wash kanchum, or with the paint that is called wash kanchum. So they, these are the uh, these are the uh, works are the verbs. They are called doro doroing. They are called, uh, one is one is singular is doro, more are doroing. They are works, they are doroing. So after the doroing, there is ratri. Ratri means the perfection uh, or the complete perfection uh, with the harmony with the universe. Uh, you, can, you can do anything and you can achieve anything. It's like a spiritual thing. So that is ratri. The ratri is divided into two parts. One is uh, one depends on the manners, uh, like more like spiritual, and the other is physical. The spiritual is called the chhatri. Chhatri means uh, it re it is related to the manners, your etiquettes, your behavior, your civilization, your education, uh, your mm, skills, uh, all these things. Uh, like uh, they they are called chhatri how you interact with other people with society uh, that your interaction with other people uh, and with your yourself uh, and with other people that is called chhatri and the other is dutch dutch means your physical status your standard uh, like uh, like whether you are um, physically strong are weak or you are wealthy or not uh, like you have a power a political power or not uh, like, like you have uh, anything those things are called uh, uh, Dutch okay Dutch at what position you are in the society uh, like uh, what rank you hold those are call, called Dutch so those are those are the qualities so in the first the chatri uh, like you you are shua shua means good you are a good person uh, you are manukur that means you are a soft spoken gentle uh, or charming uh, person well well mannered well your behavior is very nice that that, that means you are manukur and that means the other word is buyuk buyuk means glorious you are 
you are a graceful, glorious person. And then uh, there is a word pinin. Pinin means you are a very lucky person. Or uh, you, uh, if if you go, so you are a, um, a positive. You have a positive energy. Uh, you are a optimistic person. Wherever you go, uh, you you become successful. Or other people around you, you have a good aura. That means you are a pinin person. So. Uh, they, similarly, there are negative qual qualities um, like uh, bagak. Bagak means uh, very bad or um, like a criminal-minded person. Uh, so, uh, like uh, like uh, ren means a thief. That is also a quality. Means these are qualities. There are these are spiritual qualities like treachery. There are positive qualities and there are negative qualities. So there are a lot of qualities. We will not go into detail. You can. I just want to give you a, an idea. So now the Dutch in Dutch, you have like uh, pin. Pin means you are strong. Okay, uh, Dutch you are uh, like daganum. Uh, daganum means uh, you are very fat or uh, stout. Uh, so bitatar means you are very healthy uh, person. Um, uh, similarly, these these are the different uh, qualities. Uh, the Khatri and Dutch other qualities are like color. The color might be one of your Dutch, like uh, like uh, your what is the color of your skin or color of your house. Uh, they because it's related to the physics. It's related to the physical qualities, like uh, the qualities then you express in like halmatum the colors like halmatum means extreme dark extreme black matum black halmatum means extremely black blackest you can say <laughs> extremely black so uh, chipurum uh, means um, very white okay trishkark means like this color yellow extremely bright yellow okay uh, shirbadum different different colors they are uh, the qualities that is a dutch uh, so uh, similarly, tar uh, shokum, tar shokum means uh, uh, very wide, extra wide, widest you can say, or uh, nero, chap chanum, narrowest, chap chanum. You you add uh, one word uh, before a prefix to make the superlative degree of the quality. Like chanum is nero, chap chanum means narrowest. So similarly, tap uh, gaganum shortest and uh, it's a quality it is a dutch of anything and uh, not only a person but a, a dutch of an animal or a thing or a machine uh, uh, or uh, a house or a construction or a village or a plant any any anything physical dutch is explained in these things like chapchanum uh, halmatum chipurum tapgaganum tukhanik uh, means uh, extremely lonely, tukranic means extremely isolated. Uh, so these these kind of um, things are um, in the Chatri and the Dutch. So next is the Rashak. Rashak means uh, how you function, how how you the uh, the Chatri and the Dutch, how you will express them. Uh, like you speak uh, very well. Uh, that's that's a. Uh, you are Dutch. If just you, you are speaking, um, there is no standard of his speech. That means ne baringi chume bo Dutchan api. He doesn't have any standard of speech. Uh, but if you have, if you can, if it uh, it affects people, then it becomes trattery because the it's about spiritual and it's about manners, etiquettes, and ethics related to ethics. It affects other people. At that time, it becomes treachery, but it is only related to you, or it it is related to your physique, uh, physical things. Then it is Dutch, like you are a wealthy person. Zuzakar, wealthy means zuzak. Zuzakar means uh, wealthy. So if you have uh, uh, zuzakar one, that means be wealthy. Means that's a uh, blessing. That be wealthy. And so. Uh, so that is a Dutch zuzakar. You you have you have a quality there. You have a physical quality. You have something. You have wealth. Uh, so, but you you can speak. 
that's a quality but how you speak you speak loudly or you speak uh, very in low volume uh, or or that, that is the that the expression uh, that's called rashak like dol baring it dol means loudly so that is a rashak how you function means how you do the work the the being able to do the work are having learned it now the the way the method how how you will do it that is called the rashak so dol dol means loud phok means low um, blash means um, uh, also in low or slow slowly uh, so uh, there is flash means soft okay dung dung means uh, hard uh, okay fast do do it fast show show it you are, you can do but you will do it slow or fast like show rapidly show it uh, pin pin hue means uh, run fast okay burunum um, uh, means for a long time uh, so uh, and these are the things like uh, you uh, you are um, uh, how in what way you Uh, do the things or express them that is called a rashak after the rashak there is is bathing is bathing means something is happening you tell uh, you express in a language that this thing is happening uh, but uh, but where when how um, these these are the things that will answer by the is bathing like where means uh, yate yate means above yate samdali yate above the chair or uh, you can say um uh, darjini yate above on the on the bed or above the bed uh, you can say um, uh, other other things like below uh, near or uh, through or across uh, these are the things Uh, like uh, apathy uh, nearby okay in on the one side on the side of this thing apathy uh, similar things they they will give you a, a complete knowledge of the event that has happened that will uh, explain you uh, otherwise they will say um, you will say the jug is there but you have to specify the jug is on the table so uh, jag you if you call it masharba masharba paniya tebi paniya tebi if you call the table as pan so masharba paniya tebi okay so ane bi ya tebi basti gali phatki from where he went he went by the side okay he is under the bed uh, means shon yare bhai shon yare bhai these kind of things they will give you specific specific direction and they will explain you the complete sense of the uh, things uh, and also uh, when when um, why like therefore therefore you will say therefore why therefore te 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 akhimani means therefore it happened yeah uh, these all these are the things which connect uh, the sentences they are called is bathing okay is bathing so after that there are uh, like um, words they are um, to explain uh, the anger or sorrow or uh, to explain uh, anything happiness they are those are the words present uh, in bursaski like pacho pach pacho means uh, means you are feeling pain uh, or something burns you or something Uh, hurts you you that time you can say pacho uh, it's like um, spontaneous reaction or uh, you will see uh, something beautiful or appreciable you say why 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 you said very nice why why so these are the words or if you uh, express your disgust like say oh ho oh ho uh, you will say these are words which have no meaning Uh, but you ex- spontaneous expression so are you can some people say oh ho tu 
this to is like this is a word okay uh, so these kind of things are present so i explained to you about the yaking hayaning uh, doro uh, ratri trachi uh, trachi uh, uh, dutch rashak is batting and these uh, these exclamatory uh, 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 words so it's like in grammar or in language uh, the the chatri ratri uh, and uh, dutch and rashak and um, is batting may have different meaning but in some other places like you you take uh, this is the, because this is linguistics this is a language we are talking about the language these terminologies are linguistic terminologies but in other field uh, you, you can use it as differently as traditionally or conventionally might have have different meaning but if you if you ponder over this and in in the broader thought and broader scenario uh, then uh, you will you will connect the meaning and you will understand the things so all these things um what i have explained to just to just to give you an overall uh, some kind of a philosophical uh, review of the language so you don't have to remember these unless and until if you are very much interested in linguistic uh, or you are doing some research things otherwise for generally speaking speaking a language you don't have to remember all these things uh, so for that purpose we will make for learning to make it easy because this this uh, discussion was not easy to understand and and if it definitely uh, can give you an idea but cannot teach you the language uh, but it uh, you can learn if you are very much a keen learner uh, then you you can learn few things from this so in next videos we will make it simplify and uh, we will also give you a, a written form uh, all these uh, points we will give you provide you in written form and hopefully uh, will teach you simple sentences and daily life expressions and uh, how to how to communicate with people um, how to greet them how to ask them that how are you where are you going uh, about them everything all of this uh, in future hopefully in near future and please comment and let me know uh how how what you think about this video uh because our language is an isolate ancient and unique language and it has not been worked and it is almost a vulnerable uh, and uh, on the brink of extinction so we are trying uh, to make other people understand this language thank you very much for watching take care bye bye